a configuration for doors and look at the bottom it's got a configuration for flaps so when i bring that page up i've got to i've got to make sure i don't grab the wrong checklist. I got to go all the way down to the bottom of this one and I got to make sure I get, grab the config flap checklist, right? So again, that's what the training's about. When you go through all the training, uh, it teaches you those little snags where you can get caught on something. So this crew is really good. They're on top of it. They've gotten around kind of quickly here. They've got the ILS approach in. They're configured now for landing. They've got all their briefs out of the way. Let's see how they do. 1176, this made from Bravo, is now correct. Yep. They got to bring up the ATIS. We got Bravo United. They got that already. That's another step in the procedure. Good night. Thanks for all your help. She sounds pretty chipper to me. Like just another day at the office. Okay, that's good. I like that. Approach United 1176, 6000. Expecting ILS to it, right? 1176 North Calipers. We're going to maintain 4000. Flighting 040. 4000, 040. We're doing it. United 1176. All right. So they're coming around. They get lined up for 2-8, right? Uh, 1176, you're 900 miles from maximum. Turn left heading 310, maintain 2,600. Until established on local object, clear to ILS 2-8, right approach. 2,600, until established, clear for the ILS 2-8, right approach, and 1176. All right, and clear for the approach. Uh, 1176, okay. contact San Francisco Tower, 120.5. 120.5 United 1176. So one of the things I'm going to brief as the captain, even if the first officer is flying the approach, is this. We're going to come in faster than normal. When you have a lower flap setting, like 15, 20, uh, you're going to, you have to have more speed. So it's going to be, your sight picture is going to be off. And uh, the airplane is going to land flatter than normal. Normal